Just look at this. I've lost control. <laughs> Rocky loves visits to fossil parks. One tooth. That's probably of a mouth, a mouth full of <laughs> big teeth. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, we really struggled to get away this morning, and uh, we but Mr. Fricky coming again this time. We had to make quite a few arrangements to have him come with because we're doing interesting stuff today. But everywhere they said it's fine as long as he's a well-behaved dog, and we are hoping he's going to be a well-behaved dog. Uh, Fricky, he's so yes. So maybe just a quick summary of what we are planning. We are on our way to the quaint little town of Darling. We'll see what we can find there um, then on to Hopefield um, mm. and then the plan is to take the back roads via Kurenberg to a nice camping spot that's the plan let's see if it all works out yeah we're only now about five and a half kilometers away from Darling so we will get there soon Evita Saperon is home to Tani Evita Besaidono, the world-famous alter ego of Peter Dirk Eis, South Africa's best-known political satirist and impersonator. Evita Saperon is a transformed train station with a museum, outdoor heritage garden, bookshop and cafe. Peter Dirk Eis was born on the 28th of September 1945 and one of the highlights of his career is the Special Teddy Award he received in 2011 at the Berlin International Film Festival for his commitment to AIDS education at South African schools and for his on-stage alter ego Evita Besaidenau. Shows are performed in the Cozy Theatre and bookings can be made via Evita Saperon's website. Beware! Peter Dirk Ace does not shy away from any holy cows. When I was in Johannesburg up at the Hillbrow uh, Theatre, the uh, Andre Huguenet last year, a lady waited for me in the foyer one night and she said, uh, Listen, I don't know why you do that character because I don't know anybody who talks like that, I swear to God. <laughs> Yeah, so we're leaving Evita Saperon now. Really a fascinating place. One can actually spend much more time here. We're off to, how do you pronounce it? Ducket Nursery. Ducket. Yeah, Ducket Nursery yeah. for some. They are famous for their orchids, and I am hoping I can actually buy one. So let's see, I'm hoping. Okay, here we are now at the turn off to Ducket Nurseries. So it's a little dirt track just to get there. I know I've said this before, but plants just make me happy. <laughs> so I'm really excited. So sorry if this bores you, but I'm very really excited. <laughs> oh, it's moist. Oh, it's prachtig. It's beautiful here. Oh, look at the mountain at the back. Yep. Oh, imagine it. It's my new best friend. And ready. What are you thinking? This is so beautiful. I think Annelies in heaven. Huh? I'm sending my friend a message. My Say friend Badner. He's a message. plant expert and I just want to find out how do you know if it's a healthy plant. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I'm waiting for him to get back to me. Valley, I build a bridge so that you could get back. <laughs> Are you going to buy all of them? He's my new best friend He's all I see I got a PhD I'm feeling overwhelmed but I had to leave because <laughs> there's just so many beautiful plants but you can see Fricky is yeah. in a forest at the moment. Yeah, you're probably noticing the car is looking a bit different <laughs> to when we left this morning mm. but I'm feeling so much in nature. <laughs> I love it. So we are 
now at the turn off of the West Coast Fossil Park. So we're going to spend some time here. So the West Coast Fossil Park has fossils that are exceptionally well preserved, um, dating back to about 5.2 million years ago. So apparently there's many animals in these fossils that have been long extinct now and there is a dedicated visitor center here. So we're going to have a look at this proving, I hope it's going to be proved to be very interesting. So let's see, here we are now at the little road to the visitor center. We phoned up front to just check on whether dogs are allowed and we got the instruction that yes, Fricky can come, but we must carry him. So as you can see, we have to put him in a bag so that we can carry him. Fricky loves it. He, he likes being carried around. So Andre is just sitting him up. Do you need help? And I think, yes, I do. Yeah. Let's just see, is Fricky <laughs> just, sorry. are you gonna put him over your shoulder? Oh, other, other way around, yeah. Okay, so just stand still for a moment. You, see, you can see Fricky. Fricky doesn't mind. I mean, he, he, loves, he loves it. Just this part is not going over your shoulder. Fricky? Okay. <laughs> so yeah, we are on our way in, so let's go and have a look. Fricky loves visits to fossil parks, so he promised to behave in his bag because we have to carry him around, of course. But he's very satisfied. Yeah, so this is the entrance to the exhibition. Apparently it's on three floors, so we will see how much we can actually fit in our, in our visit. But clearly it is an excellent facility and one can understand why this is actually a big tourist attraction. It must tell us something about the importance of this fossil site. This is one One tooth, That's probably of a, mouth, a mouthful of <laughs> big teeth. Yeah. 20 meters in length, the shark. The shark, 20 meters in length. Yeah, 20 meters in length. That's amazing. I can't even like see it with my eye at one. These are the actual fossils of saber tooth what is it called the tiger so, I, I read saber tooth cat but it's saber tooth cat saber tooth yeah. tiger but just look at these teeth it seems unreal actually. yo ah he's enjoying his exhibition hmm? he's such a it is a result of evolution <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look at these very long legs he descends from wolves are being preserved at the site where they were found. Now you can see there's quite a lot of these fossils accumulated over here. That's quite a recycling. One of the richest in the world. It would be as a result of the floods that brought them down to the surface here. Normally they would completely remove the fossils from the ground for the preservation of it. But because of this unique accumulation, the fact that there were just so many of the same parts, 
they could afford to leave some of them in the ground like this. So this is a museum in the ground at the site where it was found. And uh, what I'm going to point out to you is mostly from one species. Now that is not because they only found one species, they found close to 300 vertebrate species. Wow. It's just that the one with the most abundant remains, it is from one species. And that is what I'm going to show you um, in this section over here. It is from the Sabathia. The Sabathia was a short neck, long bone giraffe. You can quickly see at the back, there's a frame of the Sabathia. It weighed about 1,000 to 2,000 kilograms, similar to the modern long neck giraffe, except it had a different body structure. Now here, they are thought to be the oldest of its kind. Because in India, the species went extinct around about 5,000 to 10,000 years ago. That would be in the time frame of human existence. So, most likely people that side would have seen this animal. Over here, it went extinct a few million years ago. And that would be, of course, before our existence. So, no one here saw it. So, are you a archaeologist, no, paleontologist? Or what are you? <laughs> um, I'm a conservationist. Yeah, so, okay. um, that is my um, educational background. Which is why I put conservation within my talk because I feel that it is quite important um, to bring that message across as well as um, obviously this is looking at the past but we also want to move towards the future mm. as well. Yeah, but thank you, your, your, your knowledge is impressive. Uh, I mean, thank you for explaining <laughs> it so nicely to us. Yeah. So that was the West Coast Fossil Park. What an amazing place to visit. This was really very entertaining, very informative. We had a fantastic guide in Amurai Robinson. So, yeah, we learned a lot about fossils today and this site is definitely unique because mm. it just brings together fossils of all kinds of, of species, sea, land and also freshwater species all gathered together in one place. Mm. And I think the most fascinating thing about um, this site is that you go to the actual place where the fossils are still in the ground, yeah, they've not been removed and you yeah. can see all of this well, in a small space, they are just just bunched together. So yeah. it is really fascinating. Yeah. It really made that image of them walking around here. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were here. Yeah. And and it's so interesting because this was a phosphate mine, and they would not have discovered this fossil fossils yeah. if the mine had not ex excavated to about 20, 30 meters deep and opened up a whole quarry. So yeah. it's really interesting. Well worth a visit. I mean, West Coast Fossil Park. Absolutely well worth a visit, yes. Yeah. We're leaving the West Coast Fossil Park now. What a fascinating and interesting visit. I think oh. one of the highlights, actually. Just seeing the saber-tooth cat. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. the bear. The African bear. I mean, that is, a, that is a very rare thing. That is a rare thing. And you don't have bears at all in Africa. And still you have the fossils. Here. And then also, I'm aware the guide said that they actually found a nearly intact skeleton of the African bear. Only the toe bones were missing. Yes, yes. And that bear skeleton is now in this Iziko Museum. Yeah. But they've got the head here, the skull. Yes. Yeah. She it's actually said the most important part of the bear is at the site. So. Yes, and it is a must see. <laughs> so we are now at the turn off to Hopefield. So we're going to make a quick stop here in Hopefield to look at the church because it seems to be quite an interesting and beautiful building. Oh, this, this is simply, simply B. B. Okay. This is such an interesting place and they make um, cosmetics made from bees, propolis, prop, prop, what eh? is that? stuff you get in honey. Because 
Meneer kan Koda als tester kies, <laughs> maar ik al voor ons heen. Dan zeg maar, jij moet je nou eerst van jouw aria. Maar ik ga nou, ik kon nou een borreltje bij jou koop, maar je moet mij zeggen wie die lekker, die lekker in is. Dat is die ene wat ik nou moet koop. Nee? Als ik moet van mijn eigen zeggen, ik zeg fijn, want dat is waar. Maar dan moet ik hem koop. Zeg maar, wat is jouw naam? Runel. Runel, bye, dank je Runel. <laughs> So this is where the fine boss honey for simply be is being so I'm gonna try one of them that is the one that is recommended. We made a stop here on the church grounds of the Dutch Reformed Church in Hopefield. It's quite a nice spot here in the shade. So we will have a look at the church. I'm not sure whether we will be able to enter, but we will check. And I think just seeing this church from the outside will be special. Just look at this. So this church in Hopefield is really of a lot of historical value. It was built already in 1879 and it's got a very special organ. I mean, it's only one of 10 organs that were brought into South Africa, a Foster and Andrews organ, and it is still in use today. So very special, not only the building, but also what is inside that is important. Really impressive and, and special. wonderful day thanks for joining us uh, you can see the spoils of the wonderful day in the back here and Fricky is quite tidy sleeping yeah. on my hand here now yeah we are we just made a stop here on the dirt track the dirt track road in well on the way to Kuringberg so we're gonna stop this video here so mm -hmm. thank you very much for joining us and if you like this video please give us a, a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and then until next time keep well <laughs>